Those of you who have been following my alternative fuel project Peugeot 405 estate are in for a treat. I've got three different alternative fuels I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to try my first one today. Uh, so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you are interested in this kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you won't miss out on the other two alternative fuels I will be trying in the coming weeks. So today I have fresh engine oil. Now, this isn't really a viable option to most people because it's expensive. It's more expensive than diesel. Um, I have access to it, obviously, having the workshop. I have access to the remnants of oil when we do servicing. So if a car takes four and a half litres, we end up with half a litre left over. And what I've done is I've mixed all of those oils into five jugs and they're roughly four and a half liters in each. This is a jerry can full of Morrison's finest E10 petrol because it's the cheapest. And the idea is we're gonna use the petrol to thin the oil. So what I've got here is about 250 milliliters-ish of clean oil mixed with a 10% of petrol. So what this is just as a test. Um, if this test works, which I'm sure it will, I will then be mixing those three drugs in there with some petrol, obviously. And then I've made a awful looking paint stirrer that fits in there. So I can put it on my drill to stir it all. It needs to be stirred for quite a while just to make sure that everything's blended. Then it'll go in the tank. Then I'm gonna go and do 100, 150 odd miles and update you with my progress. So just to show you that I'm not cheating and I actually have a whole tank of diesel. My fuel light's on. We are pretty much empty. Um, I, I won't say I barely made it here, but the light was on virtually all the way, so I know that we're low on diesel. So this is the setup we've got. Um, I've my temporary fuel tank, as you can see, it's it's all there. Um, disconnected the line from the fuel tank. Uh, put another hose into the bottle for now, and uh, that line feeds the fuel bowl, fuel filter, and then the pump. So I'm just gonna. See if I can get some of this to go through so that we know we're starting it on this mix. So let's see if I can put that back in there. And the priming bubble's hard now. You can see it's going through. Um, that's probably, probably pretty much all in the fuel bowl now. So if we start her up, fingers crossed. Wait for the glow plugs. running I don't know if we're running on still running on diesel uh, we've got no smoke at the moment Let's see what it smells like it still smells like diesel so we're probably still running on diesel oh better watch that that bottle is now empty so I'm I'm pretty sure we're now running on a mix of engine oil and petrol. Doesn't smell like diesel. Let's turn her off for a moment. Okay, that doesn't smell like diesel at all. Actually smells quite nice. Um, if I... I don't know if you're going to be able to see on the camera. That bottle is empty. So all of that petrol and clean engine oil mix has gone through. So I'm going to remove these Allen screws and see what is inside the bowl. What we should have is our uh, clean oil petrol mix, in which case I will then mix up a batch, shove it in the tank and see how she drives. 
Oh, something's coming out of there. That doesn't look like diesel. You can see that's uh, kind of like a light brown colour. That actually smells like petrol. That is definitely engine oil. That is definitely 100% not diesel. So, I think it's time to mix up a batch. Right, this is very simple. We've got a old coolant bottle, 20 litre bottle, that we have, uh, that's all been cleaned out. We've got four and a half litres, four and a half litres, and four and a half litres of mixed clean engine oil. And then we'll measure out a 10% mix of uh, petrol and put that in there. Blend it all up with a homemade paint stirrer because that's a small hole, too small for a normal paint stirrer. And we'll shove it in the tank. So we've got just under 15 litres of clean engine oil. Um, so 10% mix will be one and a half litres, and this is a litre bottle, so one and a half bottles of petrol in there. Yeah. That's about 900 millilitres. Another 600 litres, millilitres. So this is my homemade paint stirrer. Uh, I don't know how well it'll work. It should mix the oil quite nicely. It's only better than not stirring at all. If I slow, slow my drill back down. Is. It's quite thin, so it seems quite watery. Um, so, I don't mean it's got water in it, it's watery as in thin. Um, I'm not sure how long my uh, awesome uh, paint stirrer is going to last, but it is temporary. Um, it definitely <laughs> looks like it's in better days. <laughs> oh dear. So, anyway, I should have some nice thin engine oil, diesel, and it's clean because it's all fresh. It's all fresh um, engine oil. I haven't had to filter this one. All I've got to do now is figure out a way of getting it into the tank. I might end up going back into the oil jugs. It might be easy to pour it into five litres. Um, actually, I think we've got a diesel jerry can here. I might put it into... A okay, I made a little bit of a mess, I'll be honest. I'm, before I clean all this up, I want to see how far my fuel gauge is going by. So I've put about 15-ish litres after all the stuff I've spilt and we are up to a quarter of a tank so we've gone from empty to so we've done a quarter of a tank it's not going to take long for that to blend in to be running on our petrol engine oil mix um, so I probably won't put any more I won't change any fuel I won't even put I won't even fill the tank up until that warning light is back on so and i will update you with the progress um we'll go for a drive i'm going to clean this up we'll drive home good 15 odd miles i've got to pick your dog up on the way and when i get home i'll give you a little update on how it's driven um any signs of smoke any breakdowns breakdown i'll turn the camera back on um yeah let's see how we go all right i made it home um it says 11 miles, uh, I've reset the trip. Um, I actually reset the trip when I put the dog up. Um, so, turn it off now. As you can hear, it is running absolutely smooth as. Um, if anything, it's running smoother than it did before. I had a little bit of a lumpiness, maybe like a misfire, um, until it was up to temperature, and that seems to disappear. That could be down to the petrol petrol in the oil because uh, it's good at cleaning 
uh, so probably clean the injectors. Um, yeah, I've not noticed any excess smoke. I've not noticed any lack of power. So uh, you can see I've still got, still reading just under a quarter of a tank. Um, so I, like I said, I'll drive it till the fuel light's on and update the channel. So thank you for watching. Again, if you're interested in any of this sort of to fuel sort of thing, um, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button so that I know you like this type of content and I'll catch you next time.